welcome back okay so today I wanted to do a quick look using this new Too Faced pumpkin spice palette now when I saw this palette saw the colors in it I mean the packaging is really cute look at that super cute um I kind of waffled on it just because of the fact that I have so many Too Faced eyeshadow well I shouldn't say so many but I have enough Too Faced eyeshadow palettes that I don't use for one reason or another and like the gingerbread that I got last holiday season I gave that away I wanted the gingerbread extra spicy or whatever it was and I never picked it up even when it was on sale and at TJ Maxx and stuff so I was like do I really want this palette? But then I took a closer look at the shades, the mattes, the shimmers, you know, and it was just kind of like, you know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and try this out. I really am because it's so pretty. I really like the colors in here. So anywho, you know, of course, I use this palette to create this eye look today. And I have to say, I really, really like how this eye look turned out. Um, I really don't have any negative opinions or thoughts from this first impression using this Too Faced palette. I'm not that familiar with Too, Too Faced shadows, but it performed pretty well for me. I really don't have any complaints. The pigmentation was nice. I will say that the swatches, you know, they left a little bit to be desired, but as we all know, swatches don't tell the full story. And as you can see, the shadow showed up pretty nicely on my eyes when creating this look. So, anywho, <laughs> I will just say that I do like this palette. It has like a faint hint of scent to it, not anything, you know, it doesn't smell as strong as some of my much older Too Faced palettes, actually. So, I don't know, maybe I didn't get the huge burst of scent from this palette that you know I was supposed to because the smell is not that strong or maybe they toned it down this time around but anyway this is what the palette looks like I'll give you a closer look this is what she looks like very very pretty it has some gorgeous gorgeous shimmers beautiful mattes I think for it to be called pumpkin spice I guess just these few orangey and golden tone shadows <laughs> was enough in their opinion Honestly, I think it is because I have my orange, I have my purple, so I don't think that it really needed to be a whole lot of oranges and browns in here. That probably would have turned me off, to be honest with you, but I think it's just enough orange and gold and purple with the little pops of green in here um, to make this a pumpkin spice palette. So I just wanted to make this video really quick and to the point, so let's just go ahead and jump into how I created this eye look. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into this palette. As you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I decided to just do a few swatches of some of the shadows that I thought were really pretty in the palette. So I did swatch all of the shimmers, and I went ahead and just swatched some of the mattes that I was thinking about using today, just so I would have an idea of what I would be working with. So these are just some of the key shades in the palette. Now I'm starting out by prepping my lids with my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 04. And to start out this look, I'm going to go into the shade Warm and Cozy. I wanted to create a nice warm crease area, kind of deep if possible. And this shade I thought was really, really pretty. It looks more brown in the pan, but it does give off a little bit of like burgundy vibes, as you can see. So I'm just going in with a crease brush, or should I say a blending brush, and focusing that in my crease. Now to help blend out the edge of that shade, I'm going into Ginger Spice. It's a really pretty orange shade in the palette, and I'm just using that to blend out the edge the edge of that brown shade and also kind of diffuse it up a little bit into the upper portion of my lid. I really, really like how these two colors look together. It definitely gives off that feel and that vibe of <laughs> pumpkin spice to me. Very, very pretty. 
Now I decided I wanted to create kind of a colored base on my lid before I go in with the shimmers. So I'm taking this Shani Chunky eyeshadow pencil. I got these off of Amazon. Came in this really big pack of a bunch of different colors. And I always forget that I have them, but when I use them, they really help to create a beautiful look. Just gives your lid a nice, beautiful base of color to use. I really, really like how this kind of like burgundy, purpley type shade goes with the brown and the orange. Now I wanted to deepen my outer crease before I add my shimmer as well. So I'm just going into the shade Spice of Life deep dark purple shade in this palette i'm so so glad they put this in the palette because being able to deepen my crease with this beautiful purple shade was really really nice i really enjoyed that and as you can see i'm just building it up and blending it into those other colors now before i go in with my shimmer i decided to add a little bit of my nyx glitter glue tap that on my lid just to help the shimmer adhere more easily with less fallout so now i'm going in with a flat brush tapping this beautiful shade what is this called it's called i don't know psl and chill what does that mean i don't know i'm too old i guess <laughs> but it's a really really gorgeous kind of like lavender shimmer shade and i wanted it to pop a little bit more so i'm adding some with my finger I have no nails so I can easily do this. Just adding that on top and making sure that it's nice and vibrant. And going back in with that dark purple shade and just blending that outer corner out. Now ever since I used those water activated liners in the um, Morphe palette, I've really been addicted. <laughs> so I got these colors from MBA Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Mood Ring and they're just so easy to use oh my goodness just add water and you can have so many different colors of liners added to your makeup collection so i'm so so excited <laughs> to play around with these you guys are probably going to see colored liners a lot more because i did buy quite a few shades and i'm just using a brush that i got in a paint kit you know the kind you buy from like michael's and amazon and stuff it's just a very very small thin painter's brush and i'm using that to apply this liner today so this is the color of that liner i really really like it with this eye look now my complexion is done and i did pop on some lashes so let's go ahead and move on to the lower lash line I'm using this ColourPop liner, one of the cream gel liners. I believe this one is in the shade Piggy Bank. I never remember what the colors are because they wipe off, <laughs> but I do think this one is Piggy Bank. And I'm just using that on my lower lash line to add a pop of purple. Now to smoke it out, I'm going back into Warm and Cozy and just taking a pencil brush and dragging that along my lower lash line just to add a nice bit of warm smokiness. I'm also going back into the shade Ginger Spice, that beautiful orange, and I'm just dragging some of that right below that warm and cozy shade just to kind of make the lower lash line match the top. Now for my inner corner pop, I'm going into the shade Pumpkin Spice. Beautiful, gorgeous, uh, what is this? It's kind of like an orangey yellow shade. I guess, you know, it's the pumpkin shade in the palette, but it has a bit of yellow orangeness to it. And as you can see, I really want it to go bright and I just love, love, love how that looked next to that purple eyeshadow. For my lower lashes, I'm using my Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara. Very, very, very tiny wand. And for my lips, I wanted them to match my eyes as much as possible, so I'm using that same jumbo eyeshadow to line my lips before I go in with my lipstick. And I'm using one of my Milani Matte Lipsticks today. This one is Matte Blissful, which is shade number 62 very very gorgeous kind of like muted nude pink but it's kind of bright a bit of a bright pop but it definitely is more of a muted pink shade 
very very pretty and I'm just trying to create a little bit of an ombre effect with that lipstick and that liner so this is the look you guys as you can see I really wanted to try and capture the feel of this palette with that orange pop in the inner corner and also on the outer portion of this eyelid i really really like it let me know what you guys think about this palette how it performed about the orange pop and if you like it as well so thanks so much for watching you guys don't forget to hit that like and i will see you on the next one toodles